What's up, Creepers and Geekers Christy, Terry Creep. How is everyone doing today? The Evercade have finally cometh to the Atari Creep YouTube channel and, of course, into my home for enjoyment. So, when these first came out, I honestly wasn't all that interested in them. But then I saw all my buddies having a great time with them, and I've been seeing all the compilations and all that stuff, thinking to myself, you know what? This could actually be a pretty cool thing to collect for. But nothing truly still grabbed my attention until they did this. Until they gave the Lynx some love. And any place that will give the Atari Lynx some love, I am willing to support. And of course, if I got the Evercade, I was going to get these hands down. And I was able to get them both together as a package. Uh, and it saved me uh, about 5 or 10 bucks or so, give or take on how much it would have been individually. So it wasn't the full $40 or whatever these things would have been. Um, but to back up a little bit, the reason I even bought it to begin with is because I thought I had my uh, Google ad money <laughs> set to the you know a real high tier so the money could just stay in there and accrue and eventually we'll get some really good stuff for the channel and all kinds of stuff. But apparently it was at the lowest tier. And I, you know, I got a, a deposit in my bank account for it was like 120 bucks or whatever. And I said, you know what? I'm going to put it back into the show. I'm going to finally get this Evercade. I mean, of course, it's for me. I'm not going to sit there and tell you I got this strictly just for the program. But to be perfectly honest with you, with all the Miko crap and everything going on, the channel kind of got stale the past few years, and I just really haven't been excited to talk about anything. So let's open this fucking thing up finally. It's been sitting in my house since, I don't know, three days I think now. Oh, you go back and look at my post as to when I had it. And I'm going to upload this on Monday here, the same day that I'm recording it. So here's the front of the box if you haven't seen one of these. Pretty cool. There's that. There's the back. I'm not even going to look at anything. So yes, I did get, I did get the premium pack and I got the handheld. Um, I, I don't see myself being in a situation where the Versus is going to be convenient, uh, much like the, the handheld is going to be. Plus, I can plug it into the TV or, you know, whatever. Uh, that's that's cool. Ready to play again? Yeah, I'm always ready to play. What, are you fucking kidding me? Fucking stupid-ass question. Oh, okay. Now, see, one of the things I, I, I'm sitting here thinking about, these cartridges, I thought they were going to be a little bit bigger. I thought this case was going to be like just shy of, say, a Genesis case, case, and they're much smaller, thank, thankfully, too. Um, but I thought this was going to end up being smaller than I anticipated. Uh, no, the handheld itself is exactly how big I thought it was going to be, and that works for me. The buttons are a lot bigger than I thought they were going to be. Wow. Um, shoulder buttons, which I'm not really a fan of anyway, which I'm assuming I'm going to have to use for certain things. If I choose to play. You know what? This is a really comfortable handheld system. I really thought it was going to feel cheap. Blaze, I mean, Blaze does a pretty good job with their stuff. But at the end of the day, it's still an aftermarket company, you know? This is some quality shit. All right, I'm impressed. I really didn't think I was going to be this impressed. Pretty cool. All right, let's see what else comes in the package. I mean, of course, you get your paperwork, which, I, of course, I put aside right away. Um, blah, blah, blah. Don't shove it up your sister's ass. Good. No shoving things up your shish's bum hole. I almost forgot about these. And it's going to come with three cartridges. This one here is the Data East Collection 1. Let's see, we got Bad Dudes, Burger Time. You know we're going to be doing a lot of Burger Time. Karate Champ, which a lot of people don't like. I like that game. I was really good at it. Uh, I can't see any of these. All my, gl my glasses are at work. So you could probably see that better than I can from the position. Mind you, I have a tripod in front of me too, so... And a lot of glare. <laughs> a lot of glare. Cool. All right. So we have the Interplay Collection. Boogerman. Fuck yeah. What do we got here? Uh, Clay Fighter. Maybe not so much excited for that one. I I'm not a fan of Clay Fighter. We will try it out, though. I'll at least try every one of these games, much like all my buddies have been doing. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to ride on their fucking coattails with this one. Um, yeah, I can't see any of these. But, yeah, Earthworm Jim. Boogerman. Clay Fighter. Pretty cool stuff. Pretty cool stuff. And the last cartridge that comes along with it is the Atari Collection Numero Uno. Pretty rad stuff. Look at that. Look at all the games. Centipede. Uh, ooh. Ooh. Okay. 
Tempest? I don't see that working too well. <laughs> Video pinball! Oh, that's fantastic. You know what? I know what you're all saying. I know what you're all saying. You've been watching your buddies play this. You should know exactly what's on these. Guys, I do not have... Oh, there's a couple 7800 games in here. What? Is that Ninja Golf? I can't fucking see it because of my eyeballs. Oh, my God. Now I'm really excited. Ninja Golf? On a handheld? Get the fuck out of here. Oh, man. That's going to be rad. So I'm not going to open the cartridges up until I start using them, which is going to be as soon as I get done, you know, with this video. But I do want to look at one of the cartridges. So what we'll do is, you know what? Let's do it with the Atari games. Since you know that's probably going to be the one of the first ones. That'll be the last cartridge I look at. I'll be looking at that one, too. Oh, my God. Some of the games on these things. Kick ass. I'm going to put this down in here. Put this down in here. Put this here. First of all, do we have any juice? Oh, we do. We do. Okay, so we can put a cartridge in there in a second and just give it a few seconds of gameplay so you can have my full initial thoughts. I really like the packaging. This is classy stuff. Guys, this package here, just this box with the three games, was only $99. Free shipping at um, Amazon if you're a Prime member. I don't see, if I'm a Prime member, I don't see why no one else is. <laughs> I don't subscribe to shit. I don't, I don't have a Netflix. I mean, my lady does, so I benefit from that. I don't have Disney Plus, but my lady does, so I benefit from that. <laughs> but no, even if they didn't, I wouldn't subscribe to any of that crap. But that's um, pretty cool. Look at this. <gasps> it's even got this in here. I didn't want to call it a manual. Okay, it is kind of a manual. It gives you a little rundown of what you're supposed to do. This is a great package. I see what everyone's all excited about. I remember thinking, eh, it's just a handheld missile command. All right, let's go through this whole catalog. Fuck it. So we got Centipede, which is my favorite arcade game of all time. It's my dream one. Ninja Golf. Oh, my Lord. Now, look at this. Look at this. we got different colors of buttons and stuff, and I know it's to correspond with the games. But I wonder if there's an aftermarket company making custom options for these handhelds. Um, Aqua Venture, that's a great game. I love playing that. I had that on one of my flashbacks. I had that one on Canyon Bomber. That's uh, a paddle game, but I'm, I can see it totally translate into a, a D-pad situation. Of course, Video Pinball, don't, don't count Video Pinball out. Alien Brigade. Ooh, I don't like the point-and-shoot games like that without an actual gun. But we can give it a shot. We can give it a shot. Asteroids. Always great. Desert Falcon, which is a fantastic game, but I don't have a lot of history with it. I do have a video about it, and it is a fun game. It's a light. It's a later title, but uh, Double Dunk, I can't say I've ever played it, and I don't think I ever will. I mean, I'll try it. Food Fight for the 7800. Fantastic game. How does that work with, I mean, I guess this is technically a four-directional thing, so. Nice. Nice. Because that's a double-stick game. Of course, Missile Command, one of my favorites of all time. Uh, Motorcycle. I don't, I'm not familiar with that. I'm not familiar with that one at all. So, pretty cool. I don't know if it's an original title for 7800 or if it's a homebrew or whatever. Tell me down in the comments. Night Driver, of course. Great game. Steeplechase. Yep. Classic. Tempest, Sword Quest, ah, don't put this Sword Quest games on here. Yars Return, you can buy that in a cartridge form, but it's on everything else for, like, nothing, so. <laughs> I don't know, I just can't get into the Atari XP or XT or whatever the fuck they're calling them. And there we go, there's the other uh, games in the catalog, which I do plan on. I may, I may go for them all, I may collect them all, so we'll see. Alright, let me look at the cartridge real quick. I thought these were going to be a little more reminiscent of the Atari Lynx cartridges. But they're a decent size, a couple inches. So let's do this. Let's do this. Let me get the thing out. Let me get the machine out. Let me put the cartridge in. I'm going to assume it's this way. Fire this fucker up. It's a nice, nice size screen, too. I'm typically not a handheld guy, but screens have come so far. You know what? Let's do this. Cool. Let's see. Of course, it starts with Alien Brigade. Adventure. Aqua Adventure. Asteroids. 
You know what? Let's see how Canyon Bong works. Oh, start. Start. All right, so you can't really control your thing slow or fast. Sounds are off, but that's okay. Man, we had a high school challenge on this game a long time ago. It was so fun. Cool. Let's go back to the menu. Oh, all the save states and all that crap. I want to quit the game. Um... This is a hole. Mind you, I can't see it. <laughs> I can't see the screen. Um, when I play this for you guys, I will more than likely have it plugged into a TV. I'm telling you, if you haven't played the, 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 the reimagined version of this um, that came out a while back, where you can get power-ups and shit. I did a review of that, too. They sent me a free copy, oddly enough. All right, I can't play this at an angle the way I'm playing it with the tripod in front of me. But I just want to get an idea of what's going on. So there you go, guys. There's my um, my entry into the Evercade, the console. Five games total. Oh, we didn't even look at the Atari Lynx ones. Well, you know what? We'll look at these ones in the future. What we'll do is we'll go cartridge to cartridge. Um, but uh, I have to be honest with you. These are going to be the two I focus on most right now until I get something else that takes over my my brain, especially especially Crystal Miners too. Oh my God! And Chips Challenge, guys. That's my Evercade. Welcome to the Evercade, Chris. Yeah, dudes. I can't I can't wait to I can't wait to get down with this thing. Um, go ahead and let me know what your favorite cartridge is of all of them, not just the five I have. What's your favorite compilation for these? Should you have one? This D-pad feels really great. You know what it feels like? It feels like the first uh, generation of the six-button Genesis controllers. How it's slightly raised up and on like a, you know, it's on like a, a pivot, I guess you would call it, a central pivot. Pretty cool stuff, guys. Thank you always so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Um, I hope this brings some, some life back into my channel. I definitely know I need it. I need it for the channel, so... Guys, thank you always so much for watching. I, I can't say that enough. And until next time, I hope you're all doing well. Take care. Creep it real. And bye-bye.